What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, this is some really, really serious news, okay? Like it's 7 a.m. over here, rolled out of bed, took a shower, and decided to plop down here and film this before God knows what happens throughout the rest of the day when it comes to teen mom two star Janelle Evans's effing wedding, okay? Like last night, um, it turned out that she literally called off her wedding the day before the effing thing, okay? Like Radar Online first broke the news. They claimed that Janelle called off the wedding right before the rehearsal dinner because she was upset with the amount of um, time and effort that David was putting into getting the home ready for the wedding as opposed to quote unquote pampering her. And so they're reporting that David was trying to like lay down the grass, get the tents hitched up, and Janelle did try to help for a little bit before she was like, oh, I'm overheating. It's time for me to go back inside. And when David still stayed out there to continue, you know, fixing up the home so that it's presentable for their backyard wedding, Janelle started to have a meltdown because apparently he was not paying enough attention to her. And so this whole like saga, according to the Ashley now, um, apparently happened right before the rehearsal dinner and in front of quite a few people who are going to be guests at the wedding if it does indeed go through today. You really never know with Janelle, right? Radar is literally saying that Janelle took off her ring and left it on the table and was like, you can have your effing ring back. And my question at this point is kind of like, all right, Janelle, like, why would you give this guy the ring back when it was bought with your own money? It's technically your ring, girl. They're also saying that after she took off her ring, she was crying to a friend about how she was stressed out about the fact that David's mom's coming to the wedding and she doesn't have a mom who's coming, which is 100% through her own misdoings, right? So it's just such a weird situation that she would even think of herself and all this bullshit at this moment where as we've seen their home is not completely done in terms of landscaping and stuff and David she's lucky to have a guy as hands-on as David who is able to do all that stuff I'm not saying David's a good guy I'm just saying in that respect she is lucky to have a guy like David who can take care of the backyard and stuff like that for their wedding specifically so why are you bitching about yourself like know how to take care of yourself and handle yourself like Come on, girl. In true Janelle fashion, it's being reported that she literally drove off the swamp after like her confrontation with David. And of course, like any fiance about to marry the love of his life tomorrow, David released an exclusive statement to Radar Online that he was paid for that says, and I quote, when I'm out here working constantly every effing minute of the day, she's sitting around. This place looks different every day. It's all because of me. These people wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. I mean, David, yeah, it's great and all that you know how to do physical labor, but your ass does not have five cents to your name. So no, technically, not all of this is because of you. You're only able to lay down grass because Janelle bought the grass. You're only able to be out there in the first place in your tuxedo or in your clothes because Janelle buys your tuxedos and your clothes. So get over yourself. And something that's really sad about all this is that apparently Kaiser was left alone out back crying when the two parents were in this kerfuffle, when Janelle drove off and when David went to sell his side of the story to Radar Online, which really worries me because the last I saw, their pool was not an enclosed pool quite yet. So who leaves a child as young as three just dilly-dallying around in the backyard like that? This really goes to prove what Doris has to say. And sidebar, did Nathan kind of cave and give them uh, Kaiser for the weekend? Because remember, Janelle planned her wedding on a weekend when Kaiser was not in her care. Um, and this apparently is not purposely done. She claims that it was an accident. She wanted Nathan to give her Kaiser, blah, blah, blah. So does it sound like now she has Kaiser for the wedding, if it even goes through? And last night, Janelle really left us all hanging when she finished the night by tweeting, gotta learn to let it go. Kesha Rose. Everything always has a Kesha lyric attached. Remember when Doris was accusing her of child abuse and all the court documents leaked, she was tweeting Kesha lyrics yet again. I think the song was praying or something like that. I'm not really familiar with Kesha's music, but it looks like the wedding is actually going to be on today, which means yes, I do get to put on my makeup and um, wear my white dress as I report it um, because a lot of you guys on Twitter, thank you so much by the way, have been tweeting me snapshots from her snapshots. Snapchat stories. One of you in particular, officially Neo, tweeted me a snapshot that um, shows Janelle showing off her skincare routine in preparation for today's wedding. You guys, how crazy and how Janelle is it to call off a wedding literally 
less than 24 hours before it's set to happen and to have a backyard that's not even fully complete like venue or whatever um it's absolutely crazy i do think that she will go through with it for financial reasons even though ironically enough she's gonna suffer financially at the end of this marriage um she's got these uh magazine spreads that she's promised exclusives and stuff like that um MTV, non-refundable deposit. So I do definitely think that she will go forward with the wedding, but I do think she will be miserable in the marriage and I'm not sure it'll even last a year. They're such volatile people, but enough about my opinion. I'm more interested in hearing what you have to say about all this. So make sure to leave all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And as usual, we'll chat. You can also like this video, subscribe for more. Feel free to share it with your friends as well and follow me across social media where I absolutely love chatting with you. Now I'm off to have my breakfast, get my little face done for this wedding, okay? So that's all for now and I'll see you next time, you guys.